Hi, I'm Brett from Pod Active. In this video, we're going to show you how to correctly size and fit one of our K-Series knee braces. If you go into a dealership to get fitted, one of those dealers, a pod stockist, should have a set of these calipers. They will measure the width of your knee and size you up for the correct frame. However, a lot of people will measure themselves up at home so that they can either order through their local dealer or order, order online with an e-commerce dealer. If you're at home, we recommend that you either use one of these uh, soft tape measures, which we'll show you how to reference in a moment, or to simply get a piece of string or a piece of wool because you can use that to measure the circumference of your knee and then align it with a tape measure and then work out from the corresponding uh, centimetres or inches what size frame you'll require to order online. And then in a moment, we're gonna show you how to fit that and pad that correctly for the use. So when you go into your dealership, the dealer should have the pod sizing tool. It's a set of calipers. Make sure when they actually size your knee that you're wearing either a knee brace sleeve or a knee brace sock or whatever you will wear while riding underneath the knee brace. So right now we're gonna measure the knee. You will measure right across the knee in the middle of the patella. So ensure that the dealer feels for where the patella is and then measures the width of the knee with the calipers right in the middle of that patella. Once they have the sizing, they compare it to the sizing chart that's on screen now. The dealer will also have a copy of this or you can go to podactive.com to find a copy of the sizing chart in both centimetres as well as in inches. If you're at home and planning to measure yourself to determine which K-series frame size you are, there's two ways that you can do it. You can either use a soft measuring tape like the one we're using now. It has inches on one side or in the metric system has centimetres on the other. You'll measure the circumference of your knee. So just below the patella, which is the kneecap, right at the base of the kneecap, wrap the tape around the knee. And again, you can either look at the metric or imperial system. So you can use inches or you can use centimeters. And we have both of those sizes at podactive.com. We're on your screen now. If you don't have a soft tape, as we mentioned in the intro, you can certainly use a piece of string, a piece of wool, anything that will allow you to wrap around the knee at that same spot, just below the patella or kneecap. And then note where that finishes and compare that piece of string to a standard tape measure. So we've measured up this leg and in this instance we require an extra large brace. For demonstration purposes, we've taken the impact protection and the patella cup off so that we can show you on this K8 premium brace how to correctly align the hinge housing across the top of your kneecap. So at it, with the leg in a 90 degree position sitting down, you'll place the brace over the knee and ensure that the two pod logos on each side of the hinge housing cross over right at the top of the kneecap. So that patella, uh, patella kneecap right there, line right across the top. That's gonna to ensure that the upper and lower frames nest correctly against the body. So you can see here, I've aligned the hinge housings with the pod logos right to the top of my kneecap, top of that patella. And we don't have the hinge housing pads in. As you saw in some of the other videos, every K-Series brace comes with a grey thin pad, a black thin thick pad, as well as black shim stops. They allow you to be able to pad out the inside of these hinge housings to give you a nice comfortable pressure. You don't want it to be too tight, you just want it to be supportive inside of the knee. So right now, I'm gonna take this brace off and put the two black thick pads, which will provide sufficient support for this knee. So we've placed those black large hinge pads in and as you can see I have sufficient pressure. There's a little bit of a gap at the front. That's because ultimately your knee is relatively triangular. You want the support right on the side of the, the hinge housing and that's where the padding is comfortably nesting against each side of the knee. So with that in place, it, all of the straps are numbered. So I'll actually start with strap number one. This is the most important strap to do up. It is the one that locks the lower frame in place and this strap sits above your calf. The reason it actually sits above your calf here, people have different size calves, but this strap stops the brace migrating and slipping down when you're riding. You're up and down, in and out of the saddle, within the corners, moving your legs around a lot, but this strap here, when secured correctly, with enough pressure that it's not gonna restrict the blood, but you do have to do it up nice and tight. It has a strap pad in place, and then the next most important 
is the main strap, strap number two for anchoring the upper frame. And it's strap one and two that both have uh, strap pads in place because they need to be done up tight. With these two applied correctly, they're comfortable, they're really supporting the hinge housing and they're attached to the carbon frames or on the K4 or K1, the composite frames. Over the 10 years that that pod's been celebrating the industry leading action sports brace, we've evolved these braces to move to adaptive cuffs. So at the top of the brace, connected to the upper frame as well as connected to the lower frame are these adaptive softer cuffs. So straps three and four are what you'll do up to actually secure and attach those cuffs to your body. The last thing you want is a hard frame against your shin. And same with the upper, people have different size thighs. So these adaptive cuffs accommodate a lot broader spectrum of, of riders and are a lot more comfortable for the rider. And don't put pressure on your motocross pants. They're not gonna flare up, they're gonna stay down and in place. So one, two, three, and four, this brace is perfect and, and ready to go riding. So now that we've fitted the brace sitting, as you stand up, you can see how the brace is supposed to fit the leg. One of the benefits that we spoke about before was the adaptive cuffs. This provides your custom fit. So you can see this cuff and strap number three fits perfectly around the, the thigh. And then again, down on the shin bone, you've got strap number four and the adaptive cuff working perfectly there. The important thing is we all change. In winter, we may put a little bit of weight on. Athletes throughout the year vary their training, vary their diet, obviously their fitness, their intensity changes. So if we had a fully rigid upper and a fully rigid lower, as the body changes, you're gonna get pain, you're gonna get pressure points. My housings, the knee housings and hinges, the hinge pads sit perfectly across the kneecap, across that patella. And being as narrow as the K-series braces are, I don't have any pain, pressure, or bulkiness between me and the bike. It's important that the bike and I are one, or you and the bike are one, and as you're riding, you can feel the machine, obviously, uh, as you're on the trails, on the motocross track, and you're moving fluidly with it. So that natural hinge, the natural human motion, you have two screws, the ligament, connecting the housing and the frames. There's no metal, it's not a mechanical hinge. If dirt and mud gets in here, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna break down and like you've seen in some of the other videos, very easy to serve it. So this brace, if we had the lower and upper impact protectors and the patella cup in place, you were ready to go ride or go racing with 100% confidence that your knees are supported.